Hello and welcome to Makia. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today I am playing with the leftovers of the cardboard. Um, you know, you guys have seen me make cards out of... So, process being, I scrape up the leftover paint onto a bit of cardboard. Uh, I cut it out, I make it into a greeting card and then there's always leftover trimmed off bits. Uh, these are a couple. I've got boxes of them. <laughs> if anybody needs them for scrapbooking, please come and see me. Um, but what I've picked up is these hair clips. And I've been looking at how can I create a cover for them. Like that. Uh, so that it looks pretty rather than just a metal blank. So what I am looking at doing is gluing these, gluing it on, and then once it's set, sealing it with some UV resin. So I am probably not going to talk my way through this. I am fiddling, I'm playing, and if it works, I'll share it with you. <laughs> so let's have a look. So first thing is to trace around your um, backing, in this case the clip, just um, draw a line and then cut it out, you know, real simple, basic, <laughs> all that stuff. Once you've trimmed it down to the size that you want it to get, again just double check that it is that right size. You could probably use a wider one than I've used here, but I, if you do that, I would UV resin the underside as well, just to protect the cardboard so it doesn't get wet. So in these clips, they've got a hole on either end, and it's really important to make sure that the glue or whatever you're using creates a bridge over those gaps. Um, just make sure that the glue goes into the hole and gets held there long enough to stick. <laughs> so I'm using this Tarzan's Grip. If it's available, I will link it in the Amazon shop link below. And it's just a two-part epoxy resin. The reason I picked this one is it is like a five-minute setting time. Um, so you, you don't have a lot of time to deal with it but also you don't have to wait for hours and hours for it to re um, to be able to do the next step always 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 close off the lid really important <laughs> and mix them together well So mix them together well, make sure that you scrape it all together, remix it, scrape it all together, remix it, just so that the two-part epoxy gets mixed in together, otherwise it's just not going to set. That's how two-part epoxy works. Um, so just putting a good covering on the whole piece. I don't know if you noticed that the clip has little ridges, so I didn't I have to work out where the ridges were and blah blah blah. I just put glue on the whole lot. <laughs> and then stick it on. I've got my clips there. Those are just, you know, clothes pegs. And I'm just clipping them on just to avoiding as much of the epoxy as I can. And leave it. I left it for about half an hour, 45 minutes. 45 minutes later. <laughs> All right, so um, this glue that I'm using, the Tarzan's Grip, is a five minute set, 30 minute initial handling strength. So I've given it a good chance to set. 
didn't want to go too long because I didn't want the peg <laughs> to stick. So happy with that. Um, and it will continue to cure over the next few days. Uh, don't go jumping in <laughs> um, to wear it straight off the bat. Next step is to use some UV resin and the one I got off um, Amazon is this Banlana. I have no idea if it's a good one or not. It has worked for all the projects I have used it for. So so there's lots of different ways of applying this. The important bit is that you're not in direct UV light when applying it. You want to be out of UV light. Um, otherwise it will go hard as instantly and that is not a good thing and you'll see that I actually have a glove on I don't wear gloves very often but I always wear them when I'm dealing with resin it's just a pig to get off <laughs> I don't like having to deal with it so and I'm just spreading a reasonably thick layer but not too too thick. I don't want it to be um, over thick, but just making sure the whole thing is covered, um, and not but not so much that it's dribbling off. Uh, put that lid on so it doesn't hang, and I'm just going to give it a quick blast with my torch just to get rid of any air bubbles, and then. You can either take it outside or grab a UV torch and just set it up. I might take it outside. <laughs> it's a lot quicker because there's a lot more intense out there. It's sunshine. But if it's winter, you can always do it this way. Just takes a bit longer. Okay. So here it is. If I can get it to focus, because it's small and shiny. Look at that. Beautiful. Now. This is actually two layers. Why? Because I picked it up on the cardboard, turned around, and it promptly fell off onto the carpet. But having done the UV light first, it had almost set. Uh, so, yeah, it's basically ended up having two layers. Why can't I? Why won't you focus for me? Here we go. So, we have a nice look there and if you want to you can just put another dot um, just around here so that it kind of seals that as well just to make sure it like that is a little tacky but if I now just put a bit there so it covers over that hole. See that hole? Um, and over the metal and then back onto the cardboard again. Kind of makes a, a bridge. And you might also want to run some down the edge just to seal that cardboard. And then, just a, hello, Damien's come to find me, we are supposed to have left the building, huh? and I'm mm -hmm. 
trying desperately to get this video done so there we go I have put some around the exposed bits of cardboard to hopefully seal that onto there in case I put it on with wet hair or I go out in the rain and I'll take it back out into the sunshine but quite pleased with that what do you reckon will you be making a hair clip for somebody you love in your life and that is allowed to be you by the way you're allowed to love you all right guys thank you so much for joining me um i do have other hints and tips about what else you can do with um your runoff and throughout my channel so please have a hunt through the videos see what you find but i'm really pleased with this i do you have fun and i'll see you in another video bye bye